Lake Michigan is a key source of clean water for neighborhoods across Northeast Wisconsin. And leaders in government, agriculture, education, and nonprofits are gathering to find ways to keep our watershed safe. I'm Margaret Cahill, and I attended Representative Mike Gallagher's Save the Bay meeting. A mix of people gather to talk about what's being done right now to keep the waters clean and what can be done in the future. For example, incentives for farmers to use specific farming practices. What are the right mix of local, state, and federal incentives so we can turbocharge these practices and then you'll start to see a massive improvement in water quality uh, over the long term. Others brought up what still needs to be done, like Dwayne Ducat of Deer Run Dairy. If there's going to be incentives coming in the future, sometimes you don't qualify because you're already doing it. And to me, that's a bad practice to uh, have happen. We need to reward the people that are doing the practices. Gallagher told the group about bipartisan legislation in Congress to promote clean water, like the Healthy Farms Healthy Watersheds Act, which would target phosphorus levels, the No Emits Act, which aims to increase soil health, and the Healthy H2O Act, which would help provide grants for drinking water filters to remove PFAS. He says he's working with Senator Tammy Baldwin to bring these bills to the Senate, but it could still be a difficult road ahead. Uh, it's been a challenge to get anything passed through this house, much less a package that could also pass the Senate and become law. He says he hopes to add these bills to the National Farm Bill, which is set to expire in September 2024. Every year we kind of gather the thoughts from this group in particular. Uh, it helps me advocate for sustainable ag provisions in the bill. Representative Gallagher says he hopes to continue to get feedback to influence the next Farm Bill and other future legislation. In Green Bay, I'm Margaret Cahill, NBC 26.